Tonight, a touching surprise from the Green Bay Packers. Jeff Kinsler was diagnosed with glioblastoma, an aggressive form of cancer. He got that news shortly after returning back home to Tampa from a game in Wisconsin. But as ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon shows us, Jeff's favorite football team is now making sure they don't feel alone. Kelly Kinsler knows her brother's diagnosis is beyond her control, but she is motivated to share his story. It's a heart breaking, wrenching story that, you know, I want everyone to know and to be aware of that this is no joke of a cancer. Her brother Jeff flew to Wisconsin with their father to go to a Green Bay Packers game in October. When Jeff returned home, he felt off and started slurring his words. One day he just started going numb in part of his face and he's like, you know what, I think it's time to go to the doctor. Well, they told him, unfortunately, you need to go to the emergency room and you need to go now. Doctors diagnosed the 35 year old with stage four glioblastoma, an aggressive brain cancer. I know that my brother loves his Packers and will forever love his Packers. So I was trying to see if we could get one of them to wish him luck. We were able to. Tylen Hill responded wishing him luck and then checking up on him the next day. Jeff's family grateful for a simple act of kindness. Jeff's father, Kevin, wrote to the Packers CEO and president applauding Kylan Hill. Hill received a copy of that letter and shared it on social media, saying, quote, a letter I didn't expect. When we told Jeff that Kylan had responded, my mom was sitting with him in the hospital bed and I had FaceTime him and it was the first time that I saw my brother smile in the longest of time. For a minute, for a second, he did not have cancer in that moment. The community is now raising money for Jeff's medical bills. His family feels blessed for the love around them. If I can spread the word to anyone, I will, because you will watch, like I am, my brother, he's in the fight of his life for his life. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.